guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to test out a couple of products. So they are both by BH Cosmetics and it's the BFF um, collaboration with Alondra and Elsie, I think. So if you want to see how these products work, it's an eyeshadow palette and a face palette, then just keep watching. So I found these two products on Alta's website from BH Cosmetics. It Oh, I hope those aren't broken. Um, it is from, it's a BFF collection, and it says on Al on Alta's website, it honestly says nothing about it being a collaboration. Um, let me see. There is a picture of them at the end when you scroll, but it says nothing about them on, like, the description or the name. So I actually didn't even realize it was a collaboration until I got them here because on the palette it says Alondra and Elsie. I'm assuming that's Elsie. You know what's funny is Alondra, nope, how do you say it in English? Alondra? Alondra is actually my sister's middle name. I can't, that just feels weird, Alondra. I can't not say it with a Spanish accent. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and try these out. So first thing is this face palette. Oh cute, it's called the BFF Snatched Face Palette. Uh, retails for $16, it has four colors, so it's a highlighter, blush, bronzer, and a contour. Now this is the only collection there's not a different like shade selection so if these shades don't work for you you're not going to be able to use it unfortunately and some of these are probably going to be pushing it for me because I'm so fair both seem to be more of a medium skin tone so it's probably more geared towards their skin tone but we're gonna make it work don't you worry so this is the colors I feel like this shade will for sure work for me. This one, I could probably make it work. I'm just gonna have to be careful so I don't get it to be too like warm and orangey. And then that probably actually will work. But this, I don't think that's gonna work. Well, nah, I'm gonna have to have a tan. It's pretty close though. If I use a real light amount, I might be able to. But when I have a tan, I'll for sure be able to use that. So this is the face palette. I like that it comes with a mirror. And then let's go in to the eyeshadow. Let's actually, let me just look up the price real quick. This is a 20 color shadow palette, retails for $24. I love BH Cosmetics. They are so affordable and I almost always have good products from them. So this is, ooh, the eyeshadow palette. Really pretty and it actually like screams spring to me. Oh, that's cute. I just noticed on the mirror right at the bottom, it says all eyes on you, babe. Does the other one say something? Oh, it does. It says, get snatched with your sister from another mister. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one first because I look really one-dimensional and it's kind of creepy. I feel like I'm gonna have to look these girls up. I'm assuming they're on face Facebook. How old am I on YouTube? I felt like real old saying that. I'm sure they're on Facebook. Oh, they have a channel together. Okay, I'm subscribing and I'll watch later. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive into this. So we're gonna try the shade Latina and hope it doesn't turn too orange on me. I did turn down the brightness, so I might have to constantly put it back up just because I am so fair. I want you to actually see the color though. So we're gonna take this, ooh, which is Latina, and I'm gonna take it, I wanna take it on a fluffier brush. To kind of like help distribute the product so hopefully it won't then turn too orange on my pale skin too fast so I'm just gonna use this giant fluffy brush but I'm gonna put a little product on it <sighs> oh it's a lot of kickback okay I'm not used to like doing makeup with my hair down just okay better <laughs> now let's whoa 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 oh man you know I'm pale, but come on. Oh no. She looks just so orange on me. I need a tan. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, I'm just, blend, come on. It's just so pigmented. Which I'm sure for some people, that's like a great thing. But being so fair, I actually would rather have a product not work that good when it comes to face products so that I can build. Let's just switch. On a smaller brush, I'm going to try to do Skinny Legend. 
which is supposed to be the contour shade. So these are really pigmented. So I'm just gonna like tap. Okay, that shade is doing okay. Mm, I feel like it looks way worse on camera than it is looking in person, but still looks muddy. We're gonna do blush and then I'm gonna attempt to fix this. So let's do the You Are My Person. Just blush is actually really pretty. So we're gonna use that. Oh my God. These are just so pigmented. It's a really pretty color. Okay, let's try to clean this up. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder and just try to clean up the edges and then try to maybe soften the color a little bit. This is in the shade Fair, I think, yeah. That's good enough. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do highlighter. Like I said, this highlighter is really not gonna work for me, if, especially if these didn't work, so. Let's just do one that I have. We'll keep it with BH Cosmetics since we're already using them. So this is the Blushing and Bali palette, and I'm just gonna use a combination of these two. Let's move on to the eyes now. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Like, I feel like if this was truly springtime and I didn't have to go out in public in February in the cold, I would totally use this, like, You're Sick as a, like, pop of color. Oh. Ooh, or Malibu. Oh, this is probably gonna be a go-to palette as soon as it actually hits spring here, but right now there's still a crap ton of snow outside, so that would be weird for me. Like, I still wanna go to like the basic colors that I would always gravitate towards, but I feel like I shouldn't. So, we're gonna go pinky today instead. So let's go with the shade BFF, which is this like pretty dusty pink color. So we're gonna take BFF, and that's just gonna be my beginning transition shade. And I'm sure this is gonna work great because all the other palettes I've tried from BH Cosmetics, I love. So I'm not really too concerned with the formulation. So I'm gonna kind of speed through this just because this really isn't a tutorial on doing the makeup. It's more just testing the product. She my best friend. Oh, this is gonna match my, because I still have Valentine's Day nails. How cute. Now I have that song stuck in my head. She my best friend. She a real bad bitch. Got her own money. This shadow turned out really nice. Okay, let's move on. Should we do Mexicana or Scorpio? I feel like we should go Mexicana, right? Because this is kind of like more pinky, whereas like Scorpio is kind of more like of a coppery-ish. Let's go... I'm gonna regret this. Let's go Mexicana. I think I'm gonna try doing it with a pencil brush. I might regret this. Like, Mexicana is kind of like ready, but it's still pink too. So we're gonna put that in the actual crease. Wow, that is pigmented. Doesn't help that I'm using a pencil brush to do it, but oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the BFF shade just to kind of help blend this all together. Wow, that side turned out way better. I have two different eye shapes I've come to figure out. Because this eye always looks way better. I feel like I should deepen this up because it's very like pink, but it's not like a lot of dimension. So, you know what? Why not? Because it'll also get me to use more colors in this. So let's go in with Wine and Dine, which is kind of like a brown, like a dark brown, but it's really ready, like almost like really dark brick red. I love how that just changed so many colors. We're gonna take a little tiny bit of that and put it in the crease just to give me a little bit more depth. So I just swatched two colors that I was debating between. I was thinking I was gonna do Pop Off, which is this one right here, oh, which is really pretty. And it's the shade. But then I saw this one. And look at that. Oh, I don't know that you're gonna see it. <sighs> okay, we're going with that. It's called Baby E. That's the shade I'm putting on. Hell yeah. So should I use my finger? I'm gonna try to use a brush first. Wow, we got really dark in here, didn't we? Oh, and then we just went orange. Try again. We're gonna try to do this dry with a brush and see how that works. 
Oh, that's so pretty. Even with a brush. But it's just so pretty. Like, I'm sure this would look even more pretty had I cut the crease, but that's fine. It's, like, still subtle, so maybe it's still daytime friendly. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go back in. I'm not going to add any more product. I'm just going to blend with whatever is left. I think I'm actually just going to take a tiny bit of it and use it as the brow bone a little. Yeah, because then it's giving it, but it's not as much of the color. So you can't tell if they're the same. And I'm also going to bring it further to the inner corner. Ooh. I like this. Let's do my lower lash line now. Okay, I think I'm going to take the Wine and Dine shade, the darkest shade we did, and I'm going to use that first right along the lash water line, or the lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the BFF. I might skip Mexicana just because I feel like it might then make me look too, like, sick. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to go ahead, do mascara, do my eyebrows and stuff, and then I'll come back and tell you my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back and the makeup is done. Um, if you want to know what else I used, actually, I decided to wa line my waterline. I used a nude pencil, but this is kind of like losing its touch. So it actually kind of mixed with the pink underneath and made like a pink waterline, which I kind of really like. Um... For mascara, I got this sample that I wanted to try. It's from Sugar Rush, so Tarte's second sister brand. Um, it's called the Lash Smoothie. This was actually really nice. For eyebrows, I'm going to do a whole separate video on it, but I just wanted to test it out today on my own. It's by NYX. It's called the Lift and Snatch. Lift and Snatch. It's like a micro brush tip. Um, and then lips, I lined it with Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar. Lipstick was Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar, and then Lip Gloss was Sugar Sugar by Marc Jacobs. So, let's talk makeup. I guess let's just start off with the face palette. It did not work for me. However, if I had a tan, I actually would really like this. Like, the colors are really pretty, they're just not from my current skin tone. However, I will still use that blush. This would be a good eyeshadow for me, um, but when I do have a tan in the summer. These shades I'll probably be able to wear. I just can't do it now. It looks pretty muddy. Um, but the performance of these are actually really, really nice. So if you are in this kind of skin tone range, this is a really nice product. And then for the eyeshadow palette. I really like this, actually. That Baby Eve shade, that shocked me, which makes me feel like Oh, yeah. These other shades are going to be so nice. Oh, I can't wait. Um, but this is definitely like it screams spring to me. So I would definitely pick it up now so that come spring you are ready to go. Because this is really, really nice. I like the colors. And I actually really, really like BH Cosmetics formula. So, yeah, actually this was a pretty good win for me so yeah if there's any other products from bh cosmetics that you want me to try let me know down below but that is all i have for this video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one